Kailan ba yung best time to invest or buy a certain stock in the stock market? Well, if you've been studying yung stock market or investing, you've probably heard the concept called peso cost averaging. Kung saan every single month, regardless sa price ng isang stock, you buy that stock. Well, sa video nito, let's answer the question, is it really effective? Effective ba talaga yung peso cost averaging? And does it really work? Well, to find out, make sure you watch this video. Let's go! So I've been getting this question like, when is the best time to invest or buy a stock? And yung default answer ko is just basically say like, uh, just do peso cost average. So like, regardless of the price going up or down, every single month, mag -i invest ka. Because at the end of the day, mag average out yung, 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 ano tayo, yung, no? yung buying price mo. However, when when I tried to answer yung question yun, I, I tried to ask myself like, effective ba talaga yung peso cost averaging? effective ba talaga yun? Kaya what I did is I did a, a quick computation. So, this is gonna be uh, a little bit of computation numbers tayo dito. But we're gonna answer the question, is peso cost averaging really, really effective? Especially ngayon, like, uh, when you look at yung PSEI, yung Philippine Stock Exchange Index, uh, makikita mo na for the past, like, uh, for the past, let's say, 10 years, uh, makikita mo talaga na, like, the market is just like moving sideways, right? like going down, up, down, up, down. So if you invested like dito 10 years ago, and then ngayon, it's like you're negative pa nga. So you're negative pa nga. So uh, basically, yung goal ng peso cost averaging is that regardless of the market going up or down, as long as you keep on investing, pwede ka mga invest sa bottom times, okay, or up times, or down times, or up times, but basically ma-average yung yung buying price mo and overall ano tawag nito um kikita ka so let's let's confirm if totoo nga ba talaga uh, totoo nga ba talaga nakikita ka so let's uh, let's um, check it out so ganito uh, where is it go back to our slides and then eto so first first option if you invest Pwede kang mag one time, big time. One time, big time, meaning one time kang mag invest and then you hope na it will, it will, it will grow. So, let's say, for example, meron ka 120,000, you invested this like 10 years ago, and to make it simple na lang, we use yung Philippine Stock Exchange Index, yung PSEI. So, again, this could be any stock, like a Jollibee stock, or like, I don't know, like Ayala stock, or SM stock, or whatever. But basically, for simple calculation, let's use the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. And then, let's say, for example, 10 years ago, April 30, 2013, yung PSEI was around 7,000, 70.99. So, yun yung, yun yung uh, value ni PSEI at that time. Tapos, Come April 28, 2023, so 10 years after, naging 6,000, di ba? So this yung pinakita ko kanina, if nag one time, big time ka, yung total value ng investments mo, instead of 120, yung value niya ngayon is 112,000. 112,000 na lang. And then, lugi ka pa ng negative 6.31%. Negative 6.31%. So now let's ask the question, what if nag peso cost average ako? What if... I did peso cost average. So ngayon, scenario number two naman is that, let's say for example, um, nakakapag-invest ka lang on a yearly basis. Every single year ka lang nag invest So ano ba yung result? So ganito yung ginawa ko. So instead of investing 120,000 one time big time, so assuming natin for the next 10 years, every single year ka nag invest so instead of 120,000, divide natin by 10, so that's 12,000 per year. Tapos yung ginawa ko is that uh, every April 30, of each year, kinuha ko yung, uh, yung data ni PSEI, yung value ni PSEI. So, uh, basically, assuming na meron kang year, uh, yearly bonus or ano ba to April, so mid-year mid bonus every single year, yung bonus mo na 12,000, ini-invest mo siya. So, ano ba yung result niya? So, ganito, again, total amount is 120,000 still, ha? instead of one-time big time, so every year ka nag invest Tapos, as of April 28, 2023, Yung value ni PSEI is 6,000. Uh, ito yung value niya, 6,000. So, yung total value mo is uh, 113,000 na lang. So, at least, uh, ito, medyo lugi ka ng konti. So, negative 5.6% negative na lang compared to yung negative 6%. So, basically, ito yung sinasabi na para na-average yung price mo. So, may, may times na nakapag-invest ka at a higher price, may times na nakapag-invest ka at a lower price. So, para na-average yung price mo. However, ito yung ginawa ko further. So, instead of just yearly, ginawa ko 
monthly investing. So, every single month, nag invest ka. So, ito guys, uh, very, very grabe yung effort ko nito. So, let me show you ano yung ginawa ko. So, isa lang yung, isa lang yung request ko sa inyo guys. So, kasi like every single month, kinuha ko talaga, kinuha ko talaga yung data ni PSEI. So, every every end of month, kinuha ko talaga yung data ni PSEI. PSEI. And this is like 100 plus data. <laughs> so, isa lang yung request ko. Please hit the like button or consider subscribing. Uh, consider subscribing uh, to to compensate naman or at least to say thanks for the effort of uh, doing this. But yeah, basically, so yung ginawa ko, instead of ito, ito yung one time big time, 6.31%. Ito naman yung yearly, uh, which is negative 5.6%. So, ito naman monthly. So, nagpe-peso cost averaging ka every single month. Tapos, instead of investing like, uh, anong tawag nito? Instead of investing 120,000 or, or instead of investing 12,000, every single month, 1,000 lang. So, same thing, 1,000 every single month for for 12 months, that's 12,000. For the next 10 years, that's 120,000 pa rin yung same investment. So, ano ba yung result nito? So, excited na ba kayo? <laughs> Are you ready to know the result? If it's worth it ba yung peso cost averaging? So, ito yung result. Um, let me go back to slideshow. Oops, nakita. <laughs> Oops, nakita. But, but yeah, ito yung result. Uh, again, total amount invested is 120,000. Tapos ganito din, uh, we did not consider dito yung, yung mga fees kasi uh, meron kasi tinatawag na 8 year rule, di ba? So basically, lugi ka pa in terms of fees. But uh, for the sake of calculation, para simple yung calculation, so we did not consider that in this computation. But then again, same thing, April 28, 2023, Ito yung value ni PSEI, yung total value ng investments mo instead of 120,000, 112,850, 833 na lang. So, yung gain mo is negative 5.96%. So, basically, yung question, to answer the question, is peso cost averaging effective? Is it worth it? So, based sa limited data natin, again, this is limited data lang kasi we're just considering PSEI, hindi to individual stocks. But based on our limited data, um, on a sideways market, parang results mo sideways pa rin. So whether nag one time big time ka, or actually if one time big time ka, may, may chance ka pang na average yung new result. But if you do yearly or monthly, kaso cost averaging, parang uh, sideways din yung results mo. However, ito yung the best part in peso cost averaging. It becomes a stress-free kind of investing. Kasi a lot of people, they are stressed kung kailan mo sila mag invest kung kapag down ba yung market, kapag up ba yung market, or what. So, but by peso cost averaging, nagiging stress-free yung investing mo. Tapos, pair mo yan with dividend investing, at least may nare-receive ka na regular dividends. Kasi again, yan yung problem with most investors, nag invest sila, tapos after how many years, wala silang nakitang, wala silang nakitang return sa kanilang investment. That's why, uh, dividend investing plus peso cost averaging, it makes your dividend, it makes your, makes your investing journey more stress-free. So that is it. That is peso cost averaging. And if you're gonna ask me kung effective ba ito, then it's effective in a way na magiging stress-free yung investing journey. Tapos add mo pa yung strategy na dividend investing, meaning regardless of the market, if it goes up or goes down, meron ka pa rin regular source of cash flow, tapos tuloy-tuloy yung pag-invest mo. So yan yung secret to a stress-free investing. So yeah, I hope you find this video valuable and helpful. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Tapos, consider subscribing para mahit natin to and we can reach more Filipinos. And if you want to start your Lodi lifestyle journey with me, visit my website, freedomlabpage.com. Again, that's freedomlabpage.com. I hope to see you inside. Once again, this is Steel Pillow and yung goal natin is to live on dividends and interest. Bye-bye!